There are a number of other drawing commands here. We have different ways to draw circles. We have arcs. We have polylines. Polylines make a single object out of, a, out of multiple lines. We also have polygons. So, and you're always going to want to read this bottom section. It says polygon, enter number of sides. Well, I want to make an octagon. So I'm going to type eight for number of sides. And then it tells me it wants, if you read at the bottom, it says specify center of polygon. Well, I want the center to be maybe the center of this circle. So you can see I can, right here, I can hover over the circle and it indicates the center. And then you can see the green circle. That means that it's object snapping to the center of that circle. And then it asks me, do you want it inscribed in the circle or circumscribed about the circle? Inscribed means it would be inside the circle, and circumscribed means it would be outside the circle. So let's say inscribed, and then when I click on the edge of the circle, you can see that the polygon is inside of the circle. Now let's say that I changed my mind. I want that polygon to be on the outside of the circle. Click on Polygon. Notice it kept 8 as the number of sides. So I can just type Enter. Specify Center. Well, I can hover over here, find the object snap to the center of that circle. But now I want it circumscribed. Now I can do a couple of things. I can click it here, or I can even come down here, click here. Or if you notice the C is in blue, I can type C enter, and now it's doing what's called circumscribing the circle. I can click the edge of the circle, and now you can see that this polygon is outside of the circle. It's circumscribing the circle, where the first one we drew is inscribed within the circle. We also have the ability to draw ellipses. We start out by drawing the center of the ellipse. We draw the major axis and minor axis. And we can draw an ellipse. We can also draw text. I tend to like to do single line text. So you click here. And now read what it says. Specify start point of text. So I'm going to click a point. And then it says specify rotation angle. So it's not just simple horizontal text. I can make it go on an angle if I want. Uh, let's type in 45 degrees. And then it wants to know what text. Text. And then you hit enter twice, and it will place your text there. Now. If you want to change the font of the text, you go up here to Annotation, and right here there are different types, but we can go to Manage Text Styles, and within this we can actually change the font. So let's say that I wanted Arial Bold or Black, Arial Black, a nice bold text, and hit Apply, Close, and now it'll change the text to Arial Bold.